Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking inventory of most of the makeup products that are in my collection. I'm going to do my makeup while I talk about this, but I wanted to kind of talk about my thought process on all of this and then also talk about why I'm not going to be doing a declutter this year. But I watched a couple of makeup inventory videos, but one of the things that has bothered me in a couple of videos is they haven't showed their collection. I do want to show the collection. And as I go, I do want to film a separate video for like my makeup organization because pretty much all of the drawers in my collection right now are hectic. I'm really excited to actually like dig into my collection and see what I have though. I know that there are so many products that I actually didn't even use in 2022. Yesterday, I took the stopper out of my Kosas concealer and there's so much product left. But I have decided that I'm not going to declutter my collection. In years past, around this time, I'll usually have already done a big declutter. I'm sure that I'll have like a pretty good idea of the products that I will eventually want to declutter. If there's a super old product in my collection that just seriously needs to go, sure, I will toss it. But for the most part, I do not want to do like a massive declutter like I have done in the past. My last declutter that I did, I actually ended up really having a lot of regret. I decided that I wasn't going to use any high-end makeup that was not cruelty free. I still have non cruelty free drugstore products in my collection, but that is only because, you know, drugstore products overall are more accessible. But I ended up getting rid of all of my MAC and my NARS products, and I still have a little bit of regret with that. Thinking back, that was so wasteful of me to do because it was product that I already had in my collection. Considering I genuinely loved so many of my MAC and my NARS products, I need to know if anyone else's e.l.f. brow lift looks like this. Even like the bag, it looks like a freaking petri dish. I don't know, I'm still using it. It doesn't smell like anything. I did end up getting the Rare Beauty big highlighter PR package, so that was pretty exciting. But yes, some of my highlighters were broken. They definitely did not need to send me all four of them, but the one that I actually like see myself using regularly is Exhilarate, and it's like a little bit cracked, but then the one that came fully broken was like the lightest one. What was it called? I still have it over here. The one, the Enlighten. I don't know how I feel about highlighter at this point though. Like this almost is maybe a little too 2018 for me. I do also want to set realistic goals for the amount of product that I would like to see myself have in 2024. I don't really have a good idea of how many foundations I have. I'm, I'm thinking maybe like 30 foundations and I don't want to be like I need to keep only five of these. Like, I know that that's not realistic for me. So we'll just have to see. I'm really excited to get into my collection though. I've never ever taken inventory of what I've had, even though I've been kind of like collecting. I really don't want to be like a makeup collector anymore, but that's pretty much what's been going on for, how old am I, 26? Over a decade. Over a decade, I've been pretty much like collecting makeup. I do have products in my collection that have like sentimental value and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But yeah, like that, I really struggle with like, do I keep those products? Are they actually that important to me? Another thing too, because I just am trying to change my relationship with makeup. I feel like that relationship has already changed and I just need to address it and change the ways that it's is showing up in my life like i'll kind of show you what it looks like right now this like section of my desk takes up so much space and i don't really want that anymore like i don't need all of this product in my face all the time obviously want to keep some of it out but i would love to like downsize this little section and have you know a larger space to make better use of my desk. I think that like the time of displaying makeup for me 
is over. You know, makeup is so cute. It's so beautiful. The packaging can be really artistic and, you know, visually pleasing. But I just don't really think in this time of my life that I'm like wanting to have it be displayed all the time. I'm kind of thinking already that maybe I will declutter a little bit today. I'm just going to be using my iPad. I use the good notes to pretty much plan my life. But I didn't have time to like make a whole cute little spread for this. I really just want to get started and count up what I have in my collection. Oh, Wilma, you look so cute, ma'am. Exactly 20 primers right here already. I and I'm going to get rid of this one from Vapor. Uh, this brand recently announced that they aren't going to be functioning anymore. But this e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer is actually really old and it smells funny. And then these Pure Setting Mist, I am just going to also get rid of these. I'm going to see if maybe I can like rehome them. Okay, so now I have 16 primers. Actually, is this a primer? Okay, so I have 15 primers probably would want to have way less than that. Bite doesn't exist anymore either. I'm going to get rid of this. This one I actually feel like I should probably pan. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this one from Philosophy. It's just really very old. So now we're down to 13 primers. It's okay that I'm loosely decluttering. I'm not doing like a massive declutter where I feel pressure to get rid of things. I think a good number would be maybe eight primers. I would ideally like to keep at the end of this. 47 concealers. This one from Chantecai, I just don't use. And then this one from Wander Beauty, I also just do not use. This is a relic. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin. <laughs> it's time. I should not dare put this anywhere near my face. This is from a brand called Radine. Radine? I don't know. All of the makeup that they sent me though, it, beautiful packaging, branding, so expensive, and all the makeup was trash. 44 concealers. My skin tone changes frequently throughout the year. Each of these has a different coverage, a different finish. I feel like though easily I could have like half of this amount. At the end of this, I'm going to say 25 concealers. I would like to eventually just keep. 47 foundations. This shade just does not work for me ever and I never reach for it because of that. Wilma, you are on a complicated journey. And then this isn't a great shade for me either. This Thrive Cosmetics Buildable Blur CC Cream and I never use it because of that. So Catrice reformulated their HD liquid coverage foundation and I'm going to get rid of the old formula that I still have. This ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation I have, not a good color for me at all either. But I think I'm going to keep the ideal total to be also 25 like the concealers. I just think that that sounds, that sounds good to me. I feel like I should be content with like six powders. Like maybe three pressed, three powder, and then done. The packaging on this one is broken. The Milani Prep Set and Go, they don't make this. Ooh, I'm gonna get rid of them. So I'm down to actually eight powders now and six powders still feels appropriate to keep. 17 powder blushes. I used to really love my Burt's Bees blushes. I didn't wear them at all last year. Not a single time did I pull these out to use. This lip bar blush, my friend Bibi gave me, I guess the color just didn't work for her, but I don't really think the color works for me either. And I don't really love how shimmery this blush is. So we are down to 14 blushes. And I think that's pretty good. I'm not super mad at that number. I think that maybe 10 could be a good goal. My camera was super close to dying. So I just put the battery on the charger. I'm filming this portion with my phone. I have 11 powder bronzers already. I am going to take out my Ara Perez rice bronzer. COVID really has made time feel so strange because I was going to say I got this in 2021. No, I'm like pretty sure I got this in 2018 or 2019. This definitely has a strange smell to it. So I am going to get rid of my Ara Perez bronzer. And then also this one from Vapor. This bronzer was just really light for me even at the time and you know the brand is out of business now so i'm going to get rid of it i really don't wear powdered bronzers too often this one from Chantecai is probably my most used one but i will keep all of these moving on to my powder highlights i guess this one is technically not powder but it was in the powder 
drawer we'll just keep it but yeah i really have no reason to get rid of any of these except for my becca highlight in champagne pop this was the original that i had just for fun the other day i used it and i hated how it looked i hated how it looked so i actually am gonna throw this away but six highlighters nine bronzers i kind of think that's great maybe i'll shoot for five highlighters and i don't know seven or eight bronzers but Honestly, I'm, I'm pretty happy with these numbers in this category. These are all of my cream blushes. I have kind of categorized them and like liquid blush, stick blushes, and then actual cream formulas down here. I've already counted them up. I have 78 total. I have 28 liquid blushes, 17 stick blushes, and then 33 cream blushes there are some products here that i do just want out of here i don't know why i still have my elf monochromatic multi sticks my m cosmetics blush is gonna go this is in venetian rose i think that they recently reformulated this and changed the packaging this is another product from that vapor brand that i'm just going to get rid of i honestly didn't really like anything from kira weiss and this blush is just too pale for me i'm going to get rid of this this is another product from that radian brand that just like was not good at all this kaja little stamp a very cute product. You get to like stamp your cheek with a little bit of blush. I never ever reach for this product. I have the urge to get rid of these from Milani. I don't know. I actually think I'm going to keep those ones from Milani, but then get rid of my Ulta Beauty ones. This is a K-Beauty blush that I used to wear a lot. And as you can see, I've made a pretty good dent in it, but I haven't used this probably in multiple years and I just smelt it and it smelled bad. This really is not supposed to be a declutter, but my cheek drawer was just so hectic. I'm also going to get rid of my Physician's Formula Dewy Blush Elixir. So what I'm left now with is 65 blushes total. For the most part, I really do love and use so many of these, but yeah, I guess we'll just have to see what what my collection looks like after this let's say 50 would be my ideal total this actually really surprised me i kind of thought i would have more cream bronzers than this i have 17 total that's still so many for some reason i have two of the elf putty bronzers in honey drip i've used quite a bit of this one i had no idea i had to use that much three of the shades work just so well for me i love golden days year round um i guess honey drip worked for me really well i should probably see how i feel about it now it's been a long time i feel like since i've used it and then bronze bell i just love in the summer but i have this pretty much brand new honey drip from elf i'm going to see if maybe like my sister wants it or something i'm keeping that same energy with this little stamp product from kaja i just don't like these in my collection i am going to get rid of my refi bronzer i absolutely despise the packaging of this i feel like i'm gonna break a nail every single time i open it which one leads me to not use it and then feel like the product has already kind of dried out a little bit and um sometimes i do feel like it's a little too dark i do plan on totally finishing up my cheeks out bronzer from fendi so that will be really cool so i have 14 cream bronzers and i feel like i could have 10. I feel like 10 would be a good number to do. 10 highlighters here. I'm going to go ahead and make it nine by getting rid of this MTU NYC little illuminizer, it's called. Ugh, why did I just swatch that? That's so pretty. But it did feel a little bit dry coming out, so that's fine. I'm actually adding these in here. I think one could argue that the e.l.f. liquid filter is a highlight. So we'll add those in there, and then my... Tart Shape Tape Wand will add in here too. 12 cream highlighters. Is this even a highlight? Same goes for this product. Ew, and it smells bad too. I'm getting rid of this Honest Beauty Magic Beauty Balm Stick. I just washed it, it's a little dry, and then I smelt it, and it's a little fishy smelling. And we definitely don't want that. 10 cream highlighters, and I'm going to say that I'll probably want just eight of them at the end. I've loosely organized my lip products, and I'm going to start with glosses. 58 lip glosses right here. 
58 lip glosses. I'm just not going to keep this super lustrous lip gloss from Revlon. I don't need a, another clear gloss. I'm also just not going to keep my Physicians Formula Diamond Plumper. This one from Pacifica, this Enlighten Gloss. I'm not gonna keep this either. I'm so sorry this turned into like a little bit of a declutter, even though I talked about how I wasn't gonna declutter. These lip glosses from Undone Beauty, I never reach for because I actually hate the way that they taste. So I am going to actually say goodbye to these. Smith & Colt does not exist anymore. I'm going to get rid of this Essence Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss. I actually never found this to be super shiny and I love like a very shiny gloss. And then I'm going to get rid of the Fruit Fetish Passion Fruit Coconut from Milani. Also going to get rid of my Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss. Okay, now we have 47 lip glosses. Um. No, I, I don't think that I need 47 lip glosses. I don't think I need anywhere near 47 lip glosses. I am going to... I am going to say at the end of the year, I would like to have 20 lip glosses. 27 lipsticks, like in the regular bullet form. I used to have so many more lipsticks. I stopped really being a huge lipstick wearer. And a lot of my lipstick collection was made up of MAC and NARS. And then I used to have a lot of Anastasia lipsticks. I don't really use Anastasia anymore. Kind of like a little bit of a problematic brand. But I do have an Anastasia lipstick here. It's in Honey. I used to wear the shade Staunch all the time. I am going to get rid of this one. Another one I'm going to get rid of is my Mob Beauty lipstick. This one is just horrendous. I think like it maybe melted in shipment, which sucks. This Wet n Wild lipstick, we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Mochalicious. 24 lipsticks. I think, honestly, I could get down to 15 lipsticks. I know eventually I won't be having all of these Rare Beauty lipsticks in my collection. I think I really only like three of these, I believe. I'm going to just get rid of all of these lip liners and now we'll count what I have here. While I'm going through these, I'm getting rid of more. I'm gonna get rid of this Buxom one. I'm going to get rid of this one from Fit Glow Beauty. 29 lip liners and that is after I already got rid of some. I can easily just have 10 lip liners, I think. Okay, now I have this like, s these stick lipsticks that didn't qualify in like the other lipsticks to me at least. At the end of 2021, I did a couple of sponsored videos with Revlon and I was promoting their Colorstay Matte Light Crayons. But honestly, I'm just going to keep a few of them. Colors I know I'm not going to wear, I'm not going to keep them. So yeah, no, these were my three favorites. Okay, actually I am going to keep two of the red ones. This was just a really, really great formula, like the pigment was so nice they were so so smooth i have these two from kaja i mean that's cute that's kind of more like a balm this is from m cosmetics i'm like not the biggest fan of m cosmetics i mean that's gorgeous but i think i'm actually just gonna get rid of it so 10 stick lipsticks yeah i, I feel like 10 is fine I'm, I'm not even gonna stress about it okay let's do liquid lipsticks i really don't wear a lot of liquid lipsticks. Urban Decay sent me these. These are a newer formula for them. It's like a super duper long lasting liquid lipstick. Um, and they sent me three shades I just really, really do not see myself using ever. I have a personal disliking for M Cosmetics, so I'm not gonna keep that. So we have nine liquid lipsticks. Nine is fine. It, nine is fine to me. I have 18 potted lip balms and that is just so many like that is just way too many because potted lip balms are something that you uh, like never go through i have two of these from smith and colt they're the locked and lit cbd lip balms um i am going to get rid of the tinted one but i adore this formula it smells so good Oh my god, like I could eat it. I'm hungry smelling this. This is the Milani Avocado Butter Lip Mask. I'm not gonna keep it. It's just not as good as some of these other lip masks that I really like. This one from Bite Beauty I'm going to get rid of. I used to really, really love this product, but it's just such a huge product and this smells bad now. The smell of this brings back so many memories. It's like 
reminds me of middle school. So I have 12 jarred lip balms. I would love to see this be five. These are my clear lip balms. I have 12 right in front of me. I know that I actually have 13 because I have one more of the Mario Badescu lip balm. I know I have so many of the Jack Black ones. I do like that the Jack Black ones have SPF. Let me smell these Lano lip ones. To me, my Lano lip ones smell funny. I know I've had them for a very long time. It makes sense that they are not good anymore. So I am going to get rid of these. This is the Patchology Lip Service Gloss Two Balm Treatment. I just don't really like this product. I'm going to get rid of it also. So I have nine of these I could possibly have 11. I'm just going to put nine because this that's what's right in front of me and I'm fine with that. Nine is fine with me. Nine's a fine number. So these are my kind of tinted lip balms. I do have my Revlon Super Luscious Glass Shine and Lipsticks here but these are like sheer lip balms in my opinion. 15 tinted lip balms. Let's shoot for 10. Let's shoot for 10. I'm not going to take inventory of my eyeshadow palettes. I'm not really sure why. I haven't decided why yet, but I'm just not going to. I think with the eyeshadow palettes, it's because I felt a lot of regret the last time I did a big declutter and I got rid of so many eyeshadow palettes. And like eyeshadow is one of those things I really do not use regularly. I don't have like an idea of what an ideal total would be for me. And I don't really want to think about it like i just don't want to bother this is my makeup inventory i did redo my collection and i'm feeling really good about that i love reorganizing my makeup collection and that's something that i don't think i've done pretty much all year and then i also condensed my little spot of makeup on my desk i talked about that earlier that i wanted to do that earlier and i did that in my makeup organization video this was actually a pretty interesting thing to do i definitely recommend it if you are kind of like in need of a wake-up call a little bit like 65 cream blushes that's kind of absurd but like my two highest categories is cream blush at 65 and then lip glosses at 47 which are like my two favorite makeup products ever so that kind of makes sense yeah and then concealers 46 concealers 43 foundations 29 lip liners and like i only use my la girl sugar and spice lip liner I do not need 29 lip liners. That is going to be it for me today though. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed. Let me know if you're thinking about doing a makeup inventory now. I highly suggest it. And also it's a good way to reorganize your makeup as you go. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so. And hopefully I will see you next time.